This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program, covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. Looking back in High Desert Gridiron history, Apple Valley wins its first Mojave River League championship in school history with this defeat of the Diamondbacks as Serrano in 2017. Former Hawks, Sultans, Saints, Sun Devils, and Silver Knights among local players leading Victor Valley College bid to upset highly favored Citrus Owls in 2018, a game seeing this unusual pass completion. The passer becomes the receiver. It was a, it was, it's amazing. I have no words for it. It's hard to explain. It feels great. I mean, we couldn't be any more happier, sir. The magnitude of Apple Valley's landmark win at Serrano, expressed by senior three-year starters Kai Merchant, then Seth Baker, in the immediate aftermath of the Sun Devils' 28-7 triumph, a major undertaking in the team's mission to claim the first Mojave River League football championship in school history. The last time the Sun Devils beat the Diamondbacks, today's seniors were kindergartners. While headlines and highlights focus on the offensive standouts, equal credit goes to coach Matt Rohrbaugh's defense. We just had to compete, get this W. Um, we came in with a strong mind knowing that we were going to play hard, come down on defense, and that's about it. Over half of Apple Valley's 207 yards total offense come on their first and last possessions of the ball game. Their game opening drive covers 80 yards. This drive was sustained by a Diamondbacks encroachment penalty on a fourth and short. The first touchdown comes when Jeff Widener benefits from Donovan Ferguson faking the handoff. Widener keeps, gets outside, and sprints into the end zone untouched. The junior quarterback's fifth rushing touchdown of the year. It's from 24 yards out. From the 18, Jeff Widener goes back to the play he had scored on and carries to the 11. Donovan Ferguson with seven of his 89 rushing yards on the night to the four. Donovan Ferguson carries it in from a yard out. Seven minutes in, it is 14-0 Sun Devils. Serrano is about to launch their longest drive of the night and their longest play from scrimmage. Nicholas Reed Casey breaks a tackle, cuts outside, and carries all the way down to the Sun Devils' 20, a gain of 49 yards. Nicholas Reed Casey leads all ball carriers this night with 165 yards on 21 carries. He comes in with over 500 yards rushing, averaging 5.5 yards per carry. The first of the Sun Devils' goal line stands starts second quarter action. Diamondbacks at the 1. 8, Donovan Williams, 42, Jacob C., 29, Seth Baker, stacking things up for no gain. It brings up fourth and goal. 11 is Kai Merchant, averaging seven tackles a game. The 6-foot, 170-pound senior stalwart records his seventh tackle for a loss to snuff the Serrano drive, and Apple Valley takes over at the 3. The Diamondbacks defense digs in. 52 is returning all-league defensive end Vince Rollins, who comes in with 10 tackles for a loss of his own. 83, Tim Ostadal, 33, Mason Stiffel, 3, Trent Birch also in on the play. 93, Alex Franco, 14, Brandon Forbes, bring down a scrambling Jeff Widener on this play. Serrano holds on an Apple Valley fourth and two, and the Diamondbacks take over at the Sun Devils 33 with 6.13 to go before halftime. Nicholas Reed Casey gets outside and carries inside the 10 on another of his outstanding individual efforts on the night. From the nine, again, exemplary effort by the junior running back whose helmet is ripped off as he scores his seventh rushing touchdown of the season. The two leading ground gainers this game are juniors, Nicholas Reed Casey and Apple Valley's Donovan Ferguson. Brandon Ford's kick pulls Serrano within seven, 14-7, with 4.42 to go before halftime. Isaac Miles out of punt formation. 
The line of scrimmage is the 21. The punt sails over the head of the Diamondbacks kick returner who retreats, tries to salvage some return yardage, but is brought down at the three yard line. Isaac Miles is credited with a 77 yard punt to match his numerals. The tremendous punt results in field position that leads to Apple Valley's end of the first half heroics. 27 seconds on the clock when heroics begin. Seth Baker blocks the punt. Donovan Williams picks it up and it's first down Sun Devils at the 11. Third and 10 still at the 11. 11 seconds on the clock when the play unfolds. Jeff Widener looks to his left, sees Chad Smith on the crossing pattern. The junior wide receiver is wide open and it is six points Sun Devils. It is 21-7 Apple Valley at the intermission. And with one minute showing on the clock, Donovan Ferguson caps his outstanding night's work with the 18-yard run that rounds out the score. The final, 28-7. The most skeptical Apple Valley fans over the years have felt the Sun Devils would sweep Serrano, Oak Hills, and Burroughs when hell freezes over. This frigid night in Serrano Figuratively speaking, the freezing spell arrives and the Sun Devils reign supreme. Victor Valley College sets Citrus back on its heels with a mighty high impact first quarter attack in the Rams bid to upset a powerful and heavily favored Owls in this American Mountain Conference battle. The quarterback Evan Nelson completes nine passes in the first quarter, including this 13-yard scoring pass to Kadeem Richards, who scored four touchdowns the week prior at Mount San Jacinto. Evan Nelson to Andrew Glass, the 6'3", 195-pound sophomore and former Granite Hills Cougar. Citrus leads the American Mountain Conference in offense. This is the Owls' first play from scrimmage. Four for the Rams is Carlos Maharas, another former Granite Hills Cougar. The 5'10", 185-pound sophomore defensive back leads his team in interceptions this season. Highlights of former High Desert High School standouts include 45 Cameron Spratley, 6'1", 230 pound sophomore linebacker playing on his home turf when he was a Silverado Hawk. Keyshawn Wilson is credited with a sack on this play. Keyshawn Wilson, 22, played at Atalanto High School. He is a 5'11", 180 pound freshman defensive back. Former Apple Valley Sun Devils Mossy Bell returns to the highlight trail, this time scrambling and emerging from the pack for a 33-yard game, longest play of the afternoon for the Rams this game. Seven is another one-time Apple Valley Sun Devil, Nathan Crouch, now 6'3", 260, assisting Jeremiah Jackson on the tackle for a loss. Watch for number 34, Paul Gallardo. He'll emerge from the stack of Rams tacklers on this play. Paul Gallardo played at Sultana. He is 5'11", 210, a freshman linebacker. Big number 71, offensive lineman Andrew Soriano is a 6'2", 300-pound freshman who played at Riverside Prep. He nearly comes up with the loose ball on this play late in the game. Marique Pitts is the third leading ball carrier in the conference, averaging just over 80 yards per game. And offensive lineman number 57 is Devin Fisher, 6'6", 290, freshman, former Apple Valley Sun Devil. Receiver Zion Hood, the former Sultana High School Sultan. Evan Nelson tries to spread the wealth when it comes to his receivers, but this takes it to the extreme. He catches his own pass, blocked pass, be it may, a six-yard game, but doubtful the Rams will add that to their playbook. Next home game for the Rams, first Saturday in November, the last Rams home game of the year, the opponent, San Bernardino Valley. Midway Home Solutions Action Highlights. This video sports online report presented by Midway Home Solutions. Midway features a huge selection of kitchen appliances, home and laundry appliances, electronics, furniture, and mattresses. Midway Home Solutions.
Looking back in high desert sports history, Silverado and Granite Hills offer something extra in this 2011 DSL pairing. Serrano beats the Sun Devils in this decisive 2016 Mojave River League clash. A full plate of events on the menu for October's third weekend in 2016, a rodeo, California Fight League, and in Esperia what they call the Key Game. Nothing extra? Perhaps a fitting subtitle to Silverado's telltale victory over Granite Hills in what some feel is the showdown for the Desert Sky League title. Nothing extra? The teams combined for five touchdowns, but when it came to extra points, only one. And that held bearing true to the final Granite Hills drive to the two-minute mark in the fourth quarter. Silverado struck first. First quarter, Fox third possession. Landon Coleman one hands the flat pass from Rishon Perez, juggles it momentarily, breaks to the outside, and races down the far sideline 70 yards to score. Granite Hills consistently met with success moving the ball. Quarterback Colin Willis would complete 22 passes on the night. Wayvon Parker caps this second quarter drive, bulldozing his way to Paydor from the eighth. But the scoreboard won't change on the extra point attempt. It's blocked, and the Hawks remain in front 7-6. Silverado sets out on a sustained drive Hawks ball at the 17. Daryl White, the 5'5 senior speedster up the middle, diving into the end zone for the second Hawks touchdown. You see the reaction by Coach Carl Posey when the extra point is missed and the score holds at Hawks 13, Cougars 6. On to the fourth. Cougars first-year coach Obi Galindo with a huge fourth down decision deep in Granite Hills territory. Go for it on fourth down and Wayvon Parker gets outside for the big game. Then the play of the game. At the 36, Willis hands off. And as the cameraman loses track of the action, the double reverse pass has the same effect on Hawks defenders. Corey Brooks, all alone in the end zone. Here's how that play unfolded. The double reverse. The ball is kicked back to Willis who connects with Brooks for six. Granite Hills is an extra point away from tying it up, but their point after attempt is botched, leaving them trailing 13-12. Rishon Perez, keeper, late in the fourth quarter, to the two. Daryl White getting the call and carrying over. The missed extra point kept Granite Hills in reach. It's 19-12, but the final Cougars drive ends near midfield when they turn the ball over on down. The outcome goes a long way in determining who wins the Desert Sky League. Brandon Mercio scores two fourth quarter touchdowns and Serrano pulls away from Apple Valley for a 25-6 victory in a decisive and defining Mojave River League battle. Diamondbacks defense dictates the tempo of the game after the Sun Devils had gone ahead on a Seth Baker touchdown on Apple Valley's second possession. Jonathan Ibarra's safety smothering Mossy Bell in the end zone early in the fourth quarter gives the Diamondbacks a 12-6 lead. The Tony Willis touchdown from five yards out gives Serrano their first lead in the Diamondbacks possession following Apple Valley's first quarter score. Serrano recovers from trailing early and scores 25 unanswered points to remain unbeaten in MRL play. Among the most intense of the Friday night lights shining, these at J. Reed Stadium in Hesperia, where it is the Sultana Sultans versus the Hesperia Scorpions, the key game. Coach Keith Locklear's Sultans may very well be the best two and five team in CIF Division 11. Sultana is ranked eighth in Division 11, one notch below the seventh ranked and seven and one Victor Valley Jackrabbits. 
the Sultans are out to snap the Scorpions' four-game win streak in the cross-city rivalry key game series. Hesperia won last year 28-15, but the Sultans intend to add to their 11 wins to 9 advantage in the overall series. This weekend, you'll find bull riding, bronc riding, rodeo, thrills, and excitement at the second annual Atlanto Wounded Warriors National Police Rodeo Association event. It's an all-out rough and tumble, wild and woolly family entertainment event. Bull and bronc riding, barrel racing, shoot dogging, mutton busting, and calf and brute scrambles. The second annual Atlanto Wounded Warriors NPRA Rodeo with proceeds benefiting the Wounded Warriors and blue cut fire victims. Nine Cobra Kai fighters will be in the ring Saturday, October 22nd. We've got 10 fights on the card this evening and you've got different levels. We've got beginners starting out. You've also got some amateurs that are moving their way onto the pro card. But this is just giving the fans and everybody in the community a great opportunity to come out and see some live action. The gaming fighters from all the different gyms a chance to showcase their talent and come up through the ranks and give back to the community. High Desert has been starving for promotion and the California Fight Leagues night has brought it. It's exciting, it's electric out there. As a high desert local, it means a lot to me to be able to do a show in my own backyard. Looking back in high desert sports history, Aztecs power past DSL defending champion Hawks in Barstow for second straight league win in 2015. Victor Valley College versatile playmaker Austin Williams scores a touchdown, passes for another, and kicks a pair of field goals in Victor Valley College Rams' 2016 win over San Diego Mesa. Excelsior's Lady Eagles at AAE for the 2013 Cross Valley League Championship. The Barstow Aztecs grind out a wild 49-31 victory over Silverado, led by running backs Jordan Londo and Brandon Pierce. Jordan Londo receives the opening kickoff at the eight and returns it 92 yards up the Langworthy Field home team sidelines. The Aztecs twice lead by two touchdowns the first half, but the Hawks keep coming back, battling to a 35-28 differential at halftime. De Leon Flukas sidesteps the inside linebacker, gets a downfield block from Amr Jackson, and sprints to the end zone. 70 yards, longest touchdown of the season for the Hawks track star. Flukas will lead all ball carriers this night with 213 yards rushing. Silverado pulls even on Frank Fuentes' second rushing touchdown, this from seven yards out. It is 21-21 with seven minutes to play before halftime. Third and long from the 24, Jordan Lando turns the corner and there is nobody to stop him. Second touchdown of the first half for the 5'11", 195-pound senior who is having his best night of the season. Barstow's lead is 27-21. The Hawks make the most of their final play of the first half. Frank Fuentes just does get the pass away over Clayton Crawford's rush. Latavion Staples has it at midfield and races all the way to the end zone. 65 yards on the touchdown. Silverado is back within seven. It is 35-28 at the half. The Aztecs defense will limit Silverado to a field goal the second half as Barstow emerges the lone unbeaten team in the Desert Sky League. The final touchdown of the game comes on fullback Elijah Peo Peo's power drive up the middle from six yards out. The final score, Barstow 49, Silverado 31. Rams freshman quarterback slash kicker Austin Williams scores from three yards out on the Rams' first possession, hits Chacal Brown on a 64-yard scoring pass, kicks a pair of 21-yard field goals, and adds three extra points to account for 21 of Victor Valley College's 27 points in the 27-20 victory over San Diego Mesa. Sean White 
helps the ninth-ranked Rams clear a major hurdle in bounding back into the win column. The 225-pound Henderson, Nevada freshman carries for 117 yards, his second straight 100-yard rushing game, and scores the remaining Rams touchdown as Victor Valley College improves to 4-3 and, and evens their American Mountain League mark at 1-1. One and one. 537 shows on the first quarter clock when Austin Williams lays it out for the wide open Shaquille Brown. The Atlanta Saints All-League quarterback of a year ago races 64 yards for the touchdown. The final score, Victor Valley College 27, San Diego Mesa 20. the Volleyball Showdown for the Cross Valley League title, AAE hosting Excelsior. AAE Volleyball christened the Knights New Gymnasium with a Cross Valley League battle for first place against the Blue Jersey Lady Eagles of Excelsior. AAE took the early lead, winning an extended opening set 29-27. And the host team, Lady Knights, held a seven-point lead in the second set before Eagles sophomore Michelle Mole gained service. Mole led Excelsior's rally that in some respects marked the turning point in the events of the evening. 6-1 junior Madison Thomas with the block and point at the net. Excelsior runs off eight unanswered points to take the lead. With Jamie Blamusa serving, Excelsior takes the second set, 24-22. The Lady Knights regain the lead and the momentum, winning the third set, 25-22. AAE needs one more set to move into first in the league standings. Just as the lead in sets changed hands, the evenly matched teams exchanged the lead throughout the fourth set. Courtly Kaplinger's strong strike gives the Lady Eagles a crucial point. Eagles co-captain Charity Mason with the perfectly placed kill, securing the fourth set. Excelsior goes on to take two straight sets to come from behind and take home the victory. Rebecca Williams serving. Excelsior completes the comeback. They suffered their lone league loss to AAE one week earlier. This date in high desert sports and entertainment history is served up and delivered by Down Home Grill. Always featured kids' $3 menu, grass-fed cheeseburger, organic chicken tenders, grilled cheese with fries and berries, or salad and drink. Call 760-241-4663 for delivery, drive through curbside, or pickup. Down Home Grill, corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road in Victorville. Looking back in high desert sports history, quarterbacks prevailed in a pair of lopsided gridiron highlights reels. Rams' Sam Allen accounts for five of his team's ten touchdowns in the most lopsided victory in Victor Valley College history. Silverado's Sam Taylor scores one and throws for three touchdowns in this 2014 Hawks win at Atalanto. Coach Dave Hoover's Victor Valley College Rams register the most one-sided victory in school history in defeating Compton 79 to nothing, the widest margin of victory in Rams history. Ten different Rams score, with quarterback Sam Allen scoring the first Rams touchdown and passing for four more. It was a team fight today. Everybody fought hard. And a uh, huge shout out to the defense. Uh, this defensive linemen were getting at our DBs, we're covering them well. Um, O-line, huge shout out to them. They played a great game. I had all time back there today. And uh, receivers, 
played well. We were going up and getting it. We played hard. From the two, Sam Allen fakes to Aaron Parker, comes this way and takes it across, untouched, for Victor Valley's first touchdown of the day. Desmond Johnson takes the quick pass from Sam Allen, gets a block from Devontae Milligan, sprints this way and goes airborne into the end zone. Touchdown from 38 yards out. The third touchdown for the Rams comes on this third and 12 from the 29. Sam Allen, perfectly thrown ball. Dakota Prussia, post pattern, hauling it in at the goal line. Jason Knowles cuts off the block of 290 pound center Andrew Regan, breaks a tackle and scores to make it 28 nothing. Sam Allen makes quick work of the next scoring drive, getting it to Devontae Milligan behind the Compton secondary, 56 yards for a 35-0 lead with four and a half minutes remaining before halftime. Sam Allen to Justin Davis, 22, from 18 yards out, 42-0 Rams, 90 seconds before halftime. 38 seconds remain in the half. 38 seconds is plenty of time to mount a scoring drive if it is to consist of one play, a 70-yard dash by Desmond Johnson. The Rams take a 48-0 lead heading into halftime. The Rams' first touchdown of the second half comes on Aaron Parker's run from the seven. Desmond Johnson carries it in from nine yards out, making it 65-0. The Victor Valley College offense racks up 612 yards in total offense this day. The Rams lead the state in rushing touchdowns with 23. The last touchdown of the day comes on this run from Ametria Scott, the Abbeville, South Carolina freshman. Scott scores from 11 yards out with 10 minutes yet to play. The final, 79-0. Victor Valley College moves to 6-1 on the year, 3-1 in the American Mountain Conference. Silverado quarterback Sam Taylor throws for three touchdowns and rushes for another in the Hawks. 48-3 Desert Sky League victory at Atlanto. My role on this team is just to run the offense and just be a leader overall. I mean, we have a great team here. We just got to Take advantage of this and... Silverado's defense holds Atalanta to 176 yards total offense, 39 in the second half. Arthur Franklin on his roll. I think of it as it's a step-by-step -step process through every game. I define my role by basically just come out there and play and help my team out. Quinsell Neal Riles darts outside, gets a downfield block from Mike O'Bannon, carries to Pater from 25 yards out. The Hawks draw first blood. The fake to Michael Dunlap. Taylor starts outside, cuts back, and sprints untouched for the second Silverado touchdown. We are six and a half minutes in. It's Sam Taylor to Michael Bannum. Six points, Silverado. 2.05 to play in the opening stanza. 21-0 Hawks. Atalanto's punt is taken on the hop by Michael Dunlap, who sheds a pair of tacklers as he heads toward the Hawks sideline. Dunlap cuts back in and wins the foot race to the goal line. 60 yards on the punt return. We got Barstow next week at home and, uh, you know, Victor after that to finish out league and uh, we got a lot of momentum going right now and we're pretty happy about that. The Bradco Companies present This Date in High Desert and Mojave River Valley Sports History. The Bradco Companies support the student athletes, teams, schools, and colleges and sports programs throughout our Mojave River Valley and High Desert. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Bid fast and last, sold on supporting High Desert Sports. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville. Deagle and Don always has discount prices on appliances, mattresses, home furnishings, and electronics. Volu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. The Bradco Companies, supporting all of the teams and sports programs throughout the Hobby River Valley. Iwan Zach Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. 
and by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program, covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. 